right here because many restaurants have opened up their patios already for the season thanks to the incredible weather. We sent meteorologist Jill Gilardi out to a few locations to see how business is going. I would imagine it's booming. She's joining us right now live in Cheshire. Hi there, Jill. Hey there, yeah, I, know. I went out to a Vine restaurant and bar in Middlebury, and yes, we're in Cheshire right now, and we're going to be uh, talking about how, you know, this business has been really booming, especially from the beautiful weather, so we're going to be talking about that, and you know what, I asked them, uh, you know, Viron Rondo and also the Vine restaurant, you know, has business been booming because of this warm weather, and here's what they had to say. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Because of the beautiful weather, the patio opened a week early at Vine Restaurant and Bar, but has been open since COVID at Viron Rondo. After being cooped up all winter, the above average warmth is drawing people outdoors. And there is nothing better than eating great food outside in beautiful weather. Oh, can't pass up this beautiful weather. It's close to our home and they got the best food here. The staff at Viron Rondo has been prepping since January for booming business once the weather warmed up. Yes, the weather is great. It's great news. Uh, our business is increasing by 30% with good weather. People are our guests, our regulars, and the community is very excited about the opening of the patio. We are opening the bar tomorrow night, the outdoor bar, and everybody's very excited about it. I know everyone's excited myself, you know, it's great to be back outdoors again and if you're eating outdoors even better and to keep up with this uh, upcoming weather. I know that the guys have been talking about maybe a little rain next week. You can always do so when you're on the go through the WFSB weather app. Reporting live at Byron Rondo, I'm meteorologist Jill Gilardi in Cheshire and we're reporting live here and back to you for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.